Joe Rogan just exposed the fighting truth about Antarctica. Antarctica, the coldest, driest, and windiest continent on Earth, has long captured the imagination of adventurers and scientists. However, as the effects of climate change threaten to alter this fragile ecosystem, the race is on to unlock its secrets before they disappear forever. Apart from this being a land of wonder, some terrifying data has recently been revealed about its true nature. Antarctica, a remote and desolate continent at the bottom of the world, holds many secrets. One truth is becoming increasingly clear that the effects of climate change are rapidly transforming this frozen wilderness and the consequences could be catastrophic. Recent studies have revealed that Antarctica is losing ice at an unprecedented rate. In the last three decades, the continent has lost three trillion tons of ice, enough to raise global sea levels by nearly a centimeter. And the pace of ice loss is accelerating. Scientists now predict that, if current trends continue, Antarctica could contribute to up to 58 centimeters of sea level rise. The effects of this massive ice loss are already being felt worldwide. Coastal communities are experiencing more frequent and severe flooding, and low-lying island nations are at risk of being completely submerged. The loss of ice also profoundly impacts the delicate balance of the global climate system, potentially leading to more extreme weather patterns and devastating consequences for biodiversity. But the terrifying truth of Antarctica is even more profound. As the ice melts, it exposes new areas of land hidden for millennia. This has led to a new gold rush in the region as countries and corporations rush to exploit its untapped mineral resources. The fragile ecosystem of Antarctica, home to unique and delicate species like the emperor penguin and the Weddell seal, are now under threat from mining and drilling operations. The future of Antarctica is uncertain, but one thing is clear that the choices we make today will have a profound impact on the fate of this remote and remarkable continent. It is up to us to take action to protect Antarctica and ensure that it remains a pristine wilderness for generations to come. Joe Rogan, a popular podcast host and comedian, recently sparked controversy with his idea for Antarctica. In a recent episode of his podcast, Rogan suggested that the continent should be turned into a giant independent laboratory for scientific research. He claims that Antarctica is a unique and pristine environment that offers unparalleled opportunities for scientific discovery. By converting the continent into a research hub, scientists worldwide could work together to unlock the universe's greatest mysteries, from the origins of life to the secrets of the cosmos. Rogan's idea has drawn both praise and criticism. Supporters argue that Antarctica is one of the few places on Earth that is yet to be entirely transformed by human activity and offers a rare opportunity to conduct research in a truly natural environment. They also point out that Rogan's proposal could help to address the growing problem of climate change by creating a space where scientists could study the impacts of global warming in real time. On the other hand, critics have raised concerns about the potential dangers of opening Antarctica to large-scale human activity. They argue that any human presence in the region could disrupt the delicate balance of its ecosystem, potentially leading to irreversible damage. They also point out that building and maintaining a research facility in a harsh and remote environment would be prohibitively expensive. People kept showing up with their opinions and controversies, but Rogan remains convinced that Antarctica could be the key to unlocking some of our time's most significant scientific discoveries. Whether or not his proposal will ever become a reality remains to be seen. However, one thing is clear that Antarctica's vast and mysterious continent continues to capture our imaginations and will likely remain a source of fascination and inspiration for generations to come. The Trans-Antarctic Expedition, also known as the Commonwealth Trans-Antarctic Expedition, was a landmark journey between 1955 and 1958. It was led by British explorer Sir Vivian Foos and was the first to cross the entire continent of Antarctica from the Weddell Sea to the Ross Sea. The trek was an incredible feat of endurance and ingenuity. 
Fuchs and his team of 12 men faced some of the harshest conditions on Earth, including temperatures that dropped as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius and winds that reached speeds of over 200 kilometers per hour. They traveled over 3,473 kilometers across the continent, using a combination of snowmobiles, tractors, and dog sleds to traverse the treacherous terrain. Although this expedition came with its challenges. At one point, the team's tractor broke down in the middle of the Antarctic ice sheet, leaving them stranded for days in temperatures far below freezing. However, Fuchs and his team were resourceful, using spare parts from other vehicles to repair the tractor and continued on their journey. After overcoming these challenges, the Trans-Antarctic Expedition was a resounding success. The team's journey provided valuable insights into the geography and geology of Antarctica, as well as the effects of extreme cold and isolation on human physiology. Today, the legacy of the expedition lives on. The journey paved the way for other trips to the continent, including the first successful overland journey to the South Pole in 1985. It also serves as a reminder of the incredible power of human determination and perseverance and the importance of pushing beyond our comfort zones to pursue knowledge and discovery. Operation High Jump was a secret military mission in Antarctica in 1946. The mission was led by Admiral Richard E. Byrd, a decorated naval officer and explorer who'd previously expedited the North and South Poles. The goal of Operation High Jump was to establish a research base in Antarctica and explore the region's uncharted territory. However, rumors soon began circulating that the mission had a more sinister purpose – to investigate reports of a hidden Nazi base in the region. According to some conspiracy theorists, the Nazis had established a secret base in Antarctica during World War II and were using it to develop advanced technologies and weapons. They claimed that Operation High Jump was launched to investigate these rumors and, if necessary, eliminate the threat posed by the Nazis. While there is little evidence to support these conspiracy theories, there is no denying that Operation High Jump was a massive military undertaking. The mission involved a fleet of 13 ships, including an aircraft carrier, several battleships, and 4,000 personnel. Despite the scale of the task, Operation High Jump was challenging. The harsh conditions of Antarctica made it difficult to establish a permanent base, and several ships were damaged or lost in the icy waters. The mission was eventually cut short, with Admiral Byrd citing the need to return to the United States to prepare for another expedition. To date, Operation High Jump remains a subject of fascination and intrigue for conspiracy theorists and historians alike. While there is little evidence to support the rumors of a hidden Nazi base in Antarctica, the mission did represent a significant moment in the history of exploration and military strategy. There is a long-standing theory among conspiracy theorists that Antarctica is somehow linked to a construction of the Egyptian pyramids. According to this theory, the ancient Egyptians possessed advanced technology that allowed them to travel to Antarctica and establish a civilization there. They allegedly used this technology to build the pyramids, which were then transported back to Egypt using an advanced transportation system. There is no concrete evidence to support this theory, but some intriguing connections exist between Antarctica and the Egyptian pyramids. For example, some researchers have pointed out similarities between the layout of the pyramids and the layout of specific features in Antarctica, such as the shape of the ice formations and the arrangement of mountain ranges. Additionally, some have suggested that the ancient Egyptians possessed knowledge of the Earth's magnetic field, allowing them to navigate to Antarctica. This theory is supported by the fact that the ancient Egyptians were skilled astronomers with advanced knowledge of the heavens. Even with these intriguing connections, no evidence supports the theory that the ancient Egyptians established a civilization in Antarctica. The extreme conditions of the continent make it challenging to establish a permanent settlement, and there is no evidence of any kind of advanced transportation system that could have been used to transport the pyramids from Antarctica to Egypt. 
Even though Antarctica and the Egyptian pyramids may not be directly connected, the theory remains a subject of fascination and intrigue for conspiracy theorists and historians alike. It serves as a reminder of the enduring mysteries that continue to captivate our imaginations and the power of human curiosity and ingenuity to unlock the secrets of the universe. As we continue to explore Antarctica, the suspense continues to build as many of us have heard fascinating stories about this universe unique part of the world. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this.